Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this bonus news update video, in fact it's more of a reaction and a letting you guys know what was just revealed and said at the last Hasbro Pulse fan stream. It was absolutely fantastic in honesty, they got through so many figures in such a short space of time. As we expected, a lot of the figures that were on the list did in fact appear on them and indeed some bonus things that we weren't perhaps expecting and indeed I loved what they did at the end, it was fantastic. They told us what we could be expecting for the rest of the year, so it's like like, I suppose they've sort of gazumped anybody else who's going to find out the names first and foremost. They literally let us know straight away. I'm going to show you some images and some discussion points in a second. Apologies in advance, I'm at work. They dropped this right in the middle of my normal working day. Uh, but I wanted to get this out to you straight away. So they started off with Rise of the Beasts figures. And to be honest, we've seen pretty much most of these. Uh, they've all been revealed um, over Transformers Tuesdays, etc. So I'm just going to give a very quick whistle stop recap. So this, of course, was the Studio Series 100. This was Bumblebee. That is, of course, both modes. Again, all of these are already up for pre order. Then we had Battle Trap. I nearly got his name completely wrong. And it was great to see these actually in hand and on their turntable. It was brilliant. Then, of course, we had Core Class RC. There's both modes. Then we had Air Razor. She, again, looked stunning. The two of them on the turntable together just looked, again, fantastic. The colour scheme really worked. And to be honest, so did Cheeto. I think in person and in hand, it looked much better um, than some of the images that we have, in fact, seen of this particular figure. So they also then, of course, it was officially revealed only, I think, a few hours beforehand. And we knew uh, this, whether you like what they class as the Bayverse figures or not, you have to appreciate how good this looks. This is, of course, Scourge. I'm absolutely loving the red, uh, sorry, the, the translucent orange windows. It's so good. It's so Mad Max looking. It really looks, I suppose evil is a good word. It just looks, I mean, look at that as well. The detail there is spectacular. And, and let's be honest, that's what we're expecting. And I suppose we want with regards to Studio Series figures. Just again, really great, great images. Great to see. And they looked really big as well. And I know it sounds silly because he's a leader class figure, but it was really good to see in hand just, I suppose, how big this figure was. And as I mentioned when I first saw these pictures, etc., nice to have what I would class as a real leader class size figure back. Now, the other one, the forgotten one, was of course. Remember this guy? He was revealed a couple of weeks back as well, Freezer, and we had no idea what the alternate mode was going to be. Well, they showed us. Fantastic again. Um, really clever, to be fair. Really clever. So I've zoomed in off the actual uh, YouTube video, and can you make out the hands and the arms there? So this is now doubled up into a weapon for Scourge. So there you can make him out that he's all folded up, and he's going to actually be a weapon for Scourge. We guessed he was gonna be a weaponizer sort of thing, and he really is, and it looks, yeah, it looks great. So it was nice that they added that as well. That was a brilliant little surprise. Um, and they started off with that. Then they moved on to Legacy Evolution, and wow, we got, yeah, we got some great figures to look forward to. I know that a lot of them are redecos, but it depends if they're different characters. I'm, and I'm happy with this because it's quite funny because lots of people say this, but if you think about the very first Seekers released in 1984, they were all, they were all the same mold. They just changed the colors. And then they went and did it the same again next year with Thrust, Dirge and Ramjet. So it's something that's always been there. It's something that's always going to be there. And if it's a different character, I'm more than happy with it. And I, for that reason, Right, this was a brilliant little surprise. I suppose what the other surprise was, there was only one. So only one core class Dinobot revealed. This is Grimlock. Um, he's gonna be 10 steps to transform. Uh, he looks really cute. I don't know what else to say. Dinosaur mode could perhaps be a little better. I can see why people might be annoyed about his tail, but his tail doubles up as the foot of Volcanicus, which I'm going to show you right now because again i've got some of the official product images and i've got some screenshots from the whole event so starting to look interesting shall we say there you go you can see he is volcanicus's right leg there he is at the bottom 
So again, the only surprise really, apart from him, was that there was only one of them. Um, they didn't release like two at a time, which they'd been doing with the other figures. So core class, Grimlock, there was three core class. Um, I'm gonna go through the rest now. Here. We've just seen Thundercracker again. We knew this was a bit of a given. Um, and again, really glad to get the trio of these. Really good to see that either they do have the proper blasters back with him. Makes you wonder if they'll do like a special set now to get the others. Remember that they did in Siege with regards to um, that set with the Axe for Optimus, the Cage for Ravage, etc. I wouldn't be surprised. But that's Core Class Thundercracker again, looking fantastic. Now, this was a surprise. And the best thing about this for being a surprise is, of course, it's Nemesis Prime. Although, is it scared? I mean, let's be honest. Let's not, I suppose, add fuel to the fire with that. We're saying he's Nemesis Prime because his windows are red. But look at this. He comes with an Energon Axe. Brilliant. So really pleased with that as well. Um, definitely going on my list. Colour scheme for Nemesis Prime just really works. And then we moved on to deluxe class figures. And there was the one that I suppose loads of people have been waiting for. There is Shrapnel. He's called Shrapnel. He's not called Scrapnel. He's going to be 11 steps. He's going to be sort of quite basic. But again, the original Insecticons, they were. I love the fact they're still doing the combining of all the weapons they refer to it as evo fusion so i've got quite a few images of all these now so we've got of course there with no accessories there with accessories they're in alternate mode alternate mode accessories and again i apologize for the glare and the reflection if you want to see these check the to transformers official website go to t go to tfw 2005 etc you can see all of these this is just a quick recap to save you 40 minutes of watching the video just so so good and there's the evo fusion all of the weapons combined together to make a huge gun which again looks fantastic right moving on we knew this was coming as well so is this armada universe make sure i get it right animated universe sorry prowl he looks quite small in the box but again he looks great in hand in fact, obviously, the wheels are going to be used as throw stars. 20 steps to transform. We've seen quite a lot of images of this guy already. Nice to get an actual confirmation. And the thing about this figure in particular, for me, just looks that he's so poseable. Um, for exactly that, really articulate, really poseable. Alternate mode looks great uh, from all angles. And I'm excited to get this figure because I really have no knowledge of the original. So for me, it's great and I can't wait to see this guy. Crosscut, again, we were fully expecting. He's in the legacy artwork, the evolution artwork, rather. We've seen images of this. It is a reuse of the skids mold. I like the skids mold. I actually really like this. I love the red tires. It just really works. Um, I'm just wondering, actually, did they put Diaclone Universe? No, they didn't. They just put a crosscut. But, of course, this is a homage to the original Diaclone version of this figure that was released, again, pre-Transformers. So really nice to get all these variants. And again, there they are combining the weapons. They combine and look really well in both modes. And you can see the angry Mohawk car, but looks good. Right, we're gonna come on to, is there another one we weren't expecting? There we go, we've got his name as well, look. So his name is not Junkie in 2, it is of course Crash Bar. Amazing, wow. And the packaging on this, look, Evo Fusion, so you can mess around with them completely. Um, all the parts are gonna break up, which we know. I am sure that this is going to be a combiner. Absolutely adamant it's going to be a combiner. Look, that is a foot. That is a leg. If you stand that that way, oh, the screen's going to turn. Of course it is. That's a leg. We've got to be having a junking combiner. Is that both the same picture? And a slightly different angle. But again, brilliant. The fact that you can pull them apart, the fact that you can build them up, the fact that you can combine them. It's just this, I suppose, wave of toys fossilizes, but in a much, much cleverly thought out way looks fantastic and we now know as i say his name really really good metal hawk i've been completely corrected but again i was only going off what i read yesterday this is clearly not the cyclonus mold which in a way i'm quite glad with what they've done though is they've completely i suppose disregarded the pretender shell whereas with bomb burst iguanus um i'm trying to think of the other ones that we've got there's a sort of amalgamation of the shell and of course of the inner robot. Whereas with this, they've just gone purely inner robot, apart from the sword. The sword, I suppose the inner robot could carry that. I'm not too sure actually, I'll check that out when I get home. Uh, but the sword that he's got, the giant sword, was the main outer shell sword. 
I don't know if the little inner pretender could carry it. I'll check that out when I get home. That's a brilliant homage, the twin guns there, because they were exactly the same in the original figure as the back there on the inner row. But again, if you want to see the inner and the original G1 figure, there's a video of him on this channel. My favorite pretender by far. I think it's a good homage, to be honest. And again, they're always going to struggle with pretenders unless you do the shells. For me, I'm happy with this. Um, yeah, it, it's it's G1 Japanese, and it's and it's his own mold. He's not um, was it a trigger happy mold they used for the Chaos on Velostron set or something that just didn't really like that. To be honest, I've got to be honest, I didn't really like it. This guy, I've always thought his color scheme works better than actual blasters. Twin cast is great. What's it saying on the side? It just says Autobot and Rewind. I was just seeing if it was going to say Japanese Universe, etc. Um, and again, look, you're going to get Rewind. I know a lot of people are annoyed that this is the only way you're going to be able to get Rewind. Um, I think, again, that's what they're going to use as a selling point. But this guy's colour scheme just really pops. Again, if you're unsure who he is, I've done an actual video on the original again. So this originally came out in 1987 as part of the Headmasters toy line in Japan. And I've always liked this colour scheme. I think it's great. Um, and again, it's, it's a different character, so I'm happy with the fact that they're using an, a mold they've used already. Right, coming on to the main one in a second, we've just got the white picture backgrounds, and it was confirmed, and it was what we actually wanted. There it is, Skyquake Prime Universe, absolutely sensational. 29 steps, again, in hand to see these guys in hand, they looked huge. I love the fact that they're showing that, if that isn't telling me that that's going to be Talon and they're going to redecorate Needle Nose, then again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google G1 Skyquake, the video on here. I've done a review on him. They had a gimmick for the G1 figures that was like a viewfinder. You put all the Predators. There was, a, there was four Predators and there was another one. Skyquake was the leader and all of the jets interacted together. Um, commonly known as G1.5. Quite sought after figures, just a great idea. And the fact that they've incorporated it with this figure is brilliant. Also, of course, we can see a Machine War Starscream coming from this mold. I wouldn't be surprised. This figure is exactly what we want it to be. It is stunning, it looks great. There's loads of additional features. Even the cockpit lifts up. Uh, I can't tell you why. I don't believe there's gonna be any figures to go with him inside it, but it's just a nice little feature and a touch that you can do with it. Again, spectacular. There is Scourge again. So that was the figures that were revealed. So I think there's 10 in total. So three Legends, or Core as they're now known. Of course, Grimlock, Thundercracker, and Nemesis. Four, four Deluxe, Shrapnel, Prowl, Crosscut, and Scrap. Get his name right, Crash Bar. I'm gonna get them wrong all the time. Two Voyages, Metal Hawk, and Twin Cast, and of course, Skyquake. Right, this is what I loved. I love the fact that they did this as well um, because it's like they've got one-upmanship on anybody who tries to break news first. So they did this thing where they were like, through the space bridge, figures that we can expect this year. So there we go. Beachcomber confirmed. No images of the actual figures, but actual characters confirmed. Devcon confirmed. Um, Dirge confirmed, also confirmed from the twin pack that's insanely difficult to get during the Earthrise figures, repackage individually in Legacy Evolution. And they actually made a point of saying we listen to the fans for that. So fingers crossed, we'll of course get Ramjet as well. Confirm guys, don't go spending huge amounts of money on eBay or wherever to get one, because they're that because you don't need to. He's coming out, he's gonna be repackaged by himself. This, I suppose, when you think about it, is an obvious one, but out of nowhere. Of course, using the original Leo Prime, we're gonna get the dark version, which funny enough, the masterpiece version has obviously just come out as well. And look at this for interesting. So Armada Megatron. Now we've obviously got Armada Optimus Prime in the artwork, so it made sense for them to do that. One other thing I wanted to quickly just show you, they showed this, and that's because they confirmed that they're gonna keep their partnership or their collaboration with Volvo obviously to license the truck. So that obviously means we're gonna get more Optimus Primes, which is basically what it's saying here. Editor's note, Evan said he prefers Optimus Primes as a fire truck. So now he's legally obligated to do an RID-01 Optimus Prime Superfire Convoy. And then and they're just, that's just a joke. That's a wind up on TF. 
W2005. So the spray speed reveals were not up for pre-order today. Um, everything else, as I say, so that is a recap of the figures in the lists there. Uh, if you want to watch it, of course you can, but that's pretty much covered it all there. I know that it's online orders in America. If you're UK based, in demand stores has got all of these available for pre-order right now. So you can get them ordered. Um, there's nothing else to say. What a great, great, yeah, fans first. It, it actually was, you know, we sort of had a list of them, but I had no idea what they'd look like until we saw them. Really pleased with that. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Take care.